Good morning, you lovely lot. I've finally sorted out another parcel going to Amazon, which I'll drop off today. Uh, lots of games from Tesco's, the only ones that I couldn't get ungated in without spending money uh, was the Nintendo Switch games, which isn't a problem. Everything else will be sent out. We've also got online arbitrage from the Lego store and from Superdrug, uh, both of which have a high sales per month and fairly profitable on each one as well. So fingers crossed, they will fly out. What else has happened? Good sales overnight. Uh, still went for payment of one item, which was a clock, which is sold for about 110 pounds. But we've sold another childish hoodie. Um, and it's like 50 quid floating the account after fees, which isn't bad. And what else has happened? I don't know. All I know is I need to build an outside storage area. So I mean, the whole of my back garden is covered by cameras anyway, so I'm not worried about storing stuff out there um, for like a couple of hours because I'll just get it all out in the morning. But I need something that's waterproof, which I can just build a little lean-to. Uh, maybe if I'm feeling particularly bothered, stick a couple of doors on there, um, make it look nice and pretty so the wife don't mind, which it shouldn't take too long. It's just having the the right weather and being bothered to do it, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, should be good. I'm trying to get eBay to step in with a, a false return. So I ended up having to drop ship a VHS tape to the States for like 40 quid. I bought it off of a subscriber as well, but I've not told him that yet. Um, he's claiming that it arrived damaged, but he doesn't have the right player. If you don't have the right player, UK uh, VHS tapes won't work in the States. So I'm waiting for them, well they've just messaged me again, but I saw it pop up and it looked blue, which is eBay. So yeah, just waiting for that. And then hopefully they'll step in, they'll sort that out, because I don't mind him returning it, but I'm not paying for a return label from the States. So yes, by all means, if you want to return it, return it but he can pay for his own bloody label because it's his mistake, not mine. <sighs> I've had me coffee, I'm happy. Now I'm on a massive industrial estate, like acres and acres of it. I've got a couple of jobs to do here. I need to empty my, my van of banana peels as well because I have not done that in a while. I could open up a fruit shop. So, I did not grab Goku from yesterday, so I should probably do that today. But in A2, we've sold a pin badge, which is just one of these. That was $4.99 all in, and that will go as a large letter. Over in D3, the Hulkbuster war machine thing, war machine buster. It was incomplete. Uh, I lost Rody. I don't know where that's gone, and it wasn't built correctly either. So I've sold it, £20 plus the shipping. And then in F3, this lovely clock is going over to the States for £114 something plus the shipping. Second time I've sold it as well. Oh, and it glows in the dark. And also, that's not the right time. And finally, the Goku card makes an appearance. It's from 1999 and it is G2. There we go. Date and the card number. £10 plus the shipping. And also, I bought a load of these. I bought 25, which was kind of a mistake. So basically what I'm going to do is not this weekend, but the weekend after, I wanna have a massive sort out. Um, I wanna get everything skewed because everything isn't skewed up here. It's just a case of, I kind of know where everything is and it's not good enough. So at the moment I've got media, uh, I've got DC, Star Wars, down there's Marvel, then there's Wii games, Xbox, Xbox. Then there's just bits that are just sort of everywhere, mainly sort of that side. So I wanna get the boxes up here. I'll get everything labeled up correctly and have a good old sort out but not this weekend because I'm an usher at a wedding. But we did sell 4.99, including free delivery, SimCity on the DS, lovely. I've got one item to get and then that's it, it's dinner time. And that item is a small childish hoodie which sold for 49.99 plus the shipping. But there we go, the day is done. And yes, 
had a haircut and a shave so that I look more presentable for the weekend. And I'm not looking like a baby by the time the weekend comes as well. There'll be a little bit of stubble. But as always, links down below for everything that I use. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, this loft is going to look a thousand times better.